Every now and then, I like to share, talk about, and relate more of like who I am as opposed to what people think I am. <laughs> I'm really not an Easter person. <laughs> I just don't do Easter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you're like me. You know, maybe you're one of those kind of people that just goes, you know, all the people, the big production, the the crowds, you know, the the sunrise. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Did you know it's okay? Yeah, it really is because you see, the first Easter disciples they weren't really into it either. They were pretty bummed out, as a matter of fact. They were still hanging out, trying to figure out whether or not they were supposed to be where they are because they couldn't decide whether or not they should be what they're doing because they were kind of fearful about what was going to happen to them. Because now that Jesus was dead, it was like, uh-oh, <laughs> we're in trouble. They're going to wipe us out now. They'll find us and haul us off to prison. And Man, it's over. We're toast. And their faith wasn't you know, necessarily all hunky-dory excited about you know Sunday morning. You know? <laughs> No, I'm sorry. It was kind of like, oh man, we've been bummed for a while now. And really, the story of Easter is more about kind of them women, you know, kind of doing their thing. You know, they were like, well, got to take care of business. So they took off and went to go take care of business, you know, clean up Jesus, you know, put the rest of all of his, you know, like special anointing oil, you know, and stuff, preparing the body so you can wrap it up in nice, you know, wonderful spike nard and all kinds of stuff, you know, and frankincense, myrrh, whatever. You know, Jewish traditional kind of, well, not traditional, but in those days kind of like typical um, burial. So, you know, it was kind of neat that Mary gets this whole angel scene together, you know, and gets to be visited by an angel and then gets to see the Jesus, you know, and the whole story. And you know how it goes because, believe me, if you've been to a sunrise service, you know what they're going to tell you. <laughs> but... For me, you know, I, I, I'm a Jesus freak. You know, I've been in the ministry most of my life, you know. Whenever I was back, so no, I wasn't in ministry, but you know what I mean. And Easter was always like pressure, 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 you know. And it was like if I was in ministry at the time, I'd help set up the chairs or set up the service or help get whatever ready, you know, for people to come because we want all the sinners to come on Sunday. Right. <laughs> So I was all more like, man, I can't wait till we get this over so we go have breakfast. You know, it's like, let's go get some eggs benedict or something. You know, I mean, come on, let's, let's eat. You know, so for me, the Easter Bunny was kind of like a relief. You know, it's kind of like, hey, let's go do an Easter egg hunt or a barbecue or something. You know, let's go have a good time. You know, so when I was in a small church, you know, it's kind of like, that was fun. You know, sort of. You know, it's kind of like they had their their Easter sunrise service and they had like a Sunday service and afterwards they had like an egg hunt you know and they had all this kind of fun stuff you know it's kind of goofy and you know it's kind of like okay it wasn't so big a deal you know and I enjoyed that you know and I kind of liked it you know and then different times in my life I've had kind of like a personal experience with God you know because Jesus has been real to me ever since I got saved and him and I have spent some quality you know sunrise services alone him and I you know, we've gone like out to the, I remember once in Alaska, we went out on the tundra and I was just standing there watching the sunrise, you know, and I was like, man, when it comes up, especially this time of year, comes up over the horizon, wow, long rays. <laughs> Beautiful time of year when you're standing in Nome, <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> and I'll admit, I was in Jerusalem at one time for the sunrise service or for Easter service, you know, and it was it was cool. I mean, you know, the garden tomb is neat, you know, I mean, it's kind of touristy, you know, but it's still cool, you know, I mean, it's, it's neat, you know, I liked it, it was enjoyable, you know, but I, I kind of like, you know, spending my time sitting, you know, like you, you know, kind of kicking up my feet. Oh, that's so much better. I just put my feet up on the other chair. <laughs> but you know, kind of relaxed, at peace, because Jesus rose. So I'm kind of happy about that. You know, I don't have to get all wound up, you know. I'm saved, you know, I've been saved for a while. 
You know, I don't feel like today more than any other day I have to run out and do something. You know, I I can take care of my plants, you know, watch them grow and help other people, you know, along their way if they ask me questions or they want to know what I'm doing, you know, because I'm more like the other guy, you know, not the guy that, you know, puts on the religious airs, you know, and it's going to be all hunky-dory for, you know, Sunday and Christmas and hit all the certain holidays, you know, and make sure you got them down, you know, ha, got that checked off my list. <laughs> no, I kind of, kind of like taking some time and, you know, I, I notice weird things, you know, like, how come for me, now maybe, I don't know where you live, but see, I lived in Alaska, I lived in Israel, I lived in California, I lived in um, Massachusetts, you know, I lived in Texas, I lived in, well, you could name a state, Reno, I lived all over the place, you know, lots of states. How come every t place I lived, now I don't know about you, but every place I lived, on Easter, it's always sunny. I can't figure that one out, man. 35 years plus, and God hasn't missed a deadline yet. Sunshine every time. I don't know. <laughs> Something between God and I. You want to have sunshine? Follow me <laughs> wherever I live. Come on, check out Easter. <laughs> blows me away. You know, little things, you know, like quiet. Nice and quiet. No religious service going on for me today. No huge music. No congregations. No anything. Just quiet. Peace. Oh, I might go out and get some breakfast, you know. But I'm one of those guys that, you know, I've been working so long. I spend every day in ministry, literally. Every day. Jesus and I are working on something, you know, or, or His Spirit is causing me to think of something, you know, or somehow we're working on something to improve something, and every day we're living the life of a Christian. So, for me, Easter is just like every other day, except that I remember that He got, you know, rose from the dead. He fulfilled, you know, the Pesach, you know, uh, promise, and that, you know, Pentecost is coming, which is kind of cool, like Holy Spirit, woohoo, you know. Those are kind of neat, you know, but I'm not really that kind of morning, uh, you know, jump up and down excited, you know, type of person. Oh, I get, as you know, because you've seen video, I get kind of blessed in the morning at times, you know, and there are times I'm just kind of chilling, you know, relaxing, taking it easy. Something about Sunday, Easter, though, is for me always... I don't want to go to church, you know? I notice the world seems to be still, at least for a little while. When I used to work, you know, in the restaurant business, it was still until church let out. <laughs> and then it was packed. Because <laughs> by Sunday afternoon, believe me, every place in the world is crazy. But just for a while, you know, have you ever noticed how Sunday morning is just kind of quiet? Maybe if you're one of those people that really isn't into Sunday service, you know, or sunrise service, or Sunday morning on Easter service, maybe maybe this video will bless you. Because, you know, God doesn't hold it against you for not making it to church, you know, or going someplace because it's Easter any more than he condemns the Jew when he doesn't go to Yom Kippur. You know, it's like, hey, it's a service, okay? I'm sorry, you know, not every Jew makes it to Yom Kippur. You know, in the old days, yes, might have been trouble, but you know what? Since Jesus came, I'm not so worried. <laughs> Such a deal. But you know, it's kind of kind of nice if you could just wind down, be still, find where the angel was that day. You know, I'd rather kind of be, you know, with that angel who's sitting there in the empty tomb, just standing there waiting. He's going. Wonder if any of the disciples are going to show up today. Nope, doesn't look like it. There's Mary. Man, those disciples, they knew better and they aren't showing up. Man, just can't figure it out. I guess she gets blessed and they don't. 
Oh, well. So you see, I, I kind of like to do my thing like Mary was doing her thing, you know? I kind of like to meet Jesus where I'm doing my ministry at, you know, which I get blessed by throwing out, you know, all this stuff that I did today on the internet, you know. I get blessed by spending some time with my wife, you know. And I get blessed by, you know, the fact we kind of swept up the porch. <laughs> And, you know, we might go to a used store today and find something to put on the porch. <laughs> we might, you know, maybe even plant something, you know. <laughs> but I don't feel like, you know, always every Easter I have to run someplace and do something. You know, I like the idea of, like, the old Easter parade, you know, with the hats and walking, you know, and kind of like you see in the movies, you know. That would be nice. You know, maybe like a, a picnic somewhere, you know. Take the family and the kids, you know, and go have a park, you know, and maybe maybe do an Easter egg hunt, you know, and have fun with it, and then maybe that night talk about Jesus and the day and everything that went on. But I don't feel like you gotta press it, you know. I don't feel like you gotta push it. I feel like you just gotta kind of kind of live it, you know. Kind of like Easter's every day, don't you think so? I know I do. I know I'm not the most religious person in the world, though some people think I am, you know, because I talk about Jesus and I live with Jesus and I share Jesus everywhere I go or try to. I mean, there are lots of times, yeah, you'll see me on the street and, you know, I'm pretty quiet because I don't have much to say. Most people don't want to hear about Jesus, so I don't tell them. <laughs> you don't want to know? Go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell, I don't care. <laughs> it's your choice. I told you, you know, heaven or hell, it's your choice. Goodbye. <laughs> but, you know, I care, but you know, I care up to a point. At some point in time, you go, hey, if it ain't time for you to listen, I'll wait until God gets you. When he's got a hold of you, then you'll listen. When he's got you by the scruff of the neck or the front by the throat, you'll pay attention. But, uh, I don't think, you know, you have to every time, you know, work yourself up in order to feel like you're full of the Easter sunrise, Easter day, Easter Sunday thingy, you know. Sure, it's resurrection. Sure, it's a celebration of it. But every day is a celebration of God and the fact that Jesus lives in us and that we will rise with him. You know, it's, it's not like it's, you know, some people think of it like, wow, you know, this is really cool, so we need to do this in remembrance. And it's like, well, Passover, yeah, there's a time that we're supposed to do in remembrance of them. But for me, Easter's more like my birthday, you know, it's kind of like I get to celebrate the birthday, you know, where we all will rise. It's kind of like, to me, the birthday of the world, you know. It's kind of like a, all of ours birthday, and I'd rather have a big cake that says, happy birthday, world. You know, we're going to rise, you know. I'm a little weird, I know, you know. I'd, I'd reinvent, you know, the Easter Bunny into, you know, a birthday cake, you know, and kind of celebrate Resurrection Day, you know, because to me it's like a birthday. But, hey, like I said, I'm not normal. <laughs> Maybe you're not either. <laughs> Maybe you'll go out and buy a cake today <laughs> and say, hey, I like Michael's idea. Happy birthday, Resurrection Day 2012. <laughs> Uh, make mine uh, German chocolate. Okay, maybe not German chocolate. Lemon. Okay, maybe not lemon. Maybe an ice cream cake. Okay, maybe not one of those. Make it banana nut. No, okay, maybe not one of those. Make it, you know, just something with lots of calories. <laughs> Throw some chocolate syrup over it, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe some chocolate eggs, too, you know. Maybe a little Easter bunny on top. <laughs> just kidding. But whatever you do today, you know, whether it be in church, whether it be at home, whether you didn't get out of bed or you didn't make it, and maybe you got too pressured and you screamed at the kids, you know, and you yelled at the wife, you know, or the vice versa, you yelled at the husband or you screamed at the kids, you know. Either way, the kids get screamed at, right? <laughs> or maybe you don't have, like, you know, all the monies in the world and the venue, and you, the best you can do is, like, celebrate with your kids some little 
you know, Easter thingy, you know, like a little bunny basket or whatever. You do only that. You don't really make it part of God. Well, you know, it might be a good idea to other days of the week, you know, kind of get God involved, you know. He kind of kind of cares more about you than you realize and cares more about your kids than you realize. So it's okay to kind of do the bunny and do the basket, you know, thingy and eat some chocolate and, you know, have a... Have a sugar rush. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I could use some. <laughs> but, and I used to love those little chocolatey eggs, you know. I used to get them. Now I get them after Easter because they're cheaper. <laughs> I have my after Easter parade, you know, of chocolate. Yeah. I remember my mother told me that we used to have a, a shelf, you know, when I was a little kid that was up on the, the uh, up near the ceiling. And that there were these, I guess they were chocolate, but I'm not sure, but some kind of giant, you know, either Easter egg or some kind of confectionery thing. And apparently, when I was a little kid, I was sneaky. I crawled up there and I ate off the backs of them. <laughs> I still left them up there, but the backs of them were all ate off. So it's kind of like, you know, the front part was there, but the back was gone. <laughs> That's pretty smart. <laughs> I used to drink Pepsi and put water in it, you know, just so that nobody knew I took some. That wasn't smart. <laughs> so make it personal and real for you, you know. If you don't feel like it, don't do it. Because the worst thing in the world that God cares about is a hypocrite. You sure don't want to be a hypocrite on Easter, do you? You know, and I don't mean by taking the bunnies, you know, and go in the basket route, but don't be a basket case by you know, going to church and hating every minute of it. Forget it. Don't go. Do what you want to do. Just enjoy it and say, hey God, you know, I'm really not an Easter you know, bunny and I'm really not a Easter service and I'm not really a sunrise person, but you know, God, I still care. So, can we just do our thing together? And that's all you really should do any day of the week, you know, whether it be Easter or every day of the week just you know take a few seconds minute or two whatever it is that you got you know alone and hey just kind of go what about you and me god can't we just kind of come to an agreement here and work it out you know you take care of me and i'll try to talk to you every once in a while you know i'll try to touch base you know just just a little bit you know i don't want to get too carried away now you know because i'm not one of those religious people god you know you, you know me yeah, i'm just kind of I'm one of those good Lord stuff, you know. It's like, well, if the good Lord wants in, I'll do it. But if the good Lord don't want, I'm not checking in. Because <laughs> I'm checking out. But as little as you can, at any point in time, when you can, just turn a little bit of attention to God. and That's all He really wants. Because He loves you, you know. And really, He loved His Son enough to raise Him from the dead. And I kind of like that idea because, you know, we're all going to face death sooner or later. I kind of like the idea that I'm not real worried about it. <laughs> As you could probably tell, most of the time, whatever seems to come into my life, I'm not real worried about. Maybe that'll give you a hint. When you got God, when you're kind of walking with Jesus, you don't have to put on religious airs. You don't have to be a morning person. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to go to church necessarily. You should go once in a while. I mean, come on. Let's get real. I mean, a Christian does go to church, of all things. You want to learn a little. But the most important thing is you know Jesus. You know, because Jesus will meet you at the tomb or in your heart or where you were like the disciples. You just didn't know that he was going to rise from the dead. Or like when you're married, you know, and you were faithful to do the things that he said. Or when you're just out with your kids doing the bunny thing, you know, and enjoying a picnic day. God will meet you today. God will be with you today. Because God loves you. Not just today, but every day.